Well, hi there, folks. Chris McLean, Peak Performance and Transformation Coach, and back again with another episode of the Peak Performance and Predictable Growth Show, the peak performance show for creative agency leaders, founders, and owners, where we explore the agency journey from the unique perspective of those at the coalface of the industry. And my guests help unlock and dissect strategies, tools, and tactics that are working right now to help you deliver better results for your clients and to grow and scale your agency to six, seven figures and beyond. It's my pleasure to welcome my guest today, Dimitri Dar. He's a digital marketer, entrepreneur, and scientific explorer from the Ukraine. And Dimitri helps local and e-com brands implement digital campaigns. Dimitri, pleasure to have you here, mate. Thank you for, I know it's, it's late where you are, so thanks for uh, staying up and joining me here today. Yeah, perfect. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello, Ron. So when Chris texted me on Facebook and asked me for an interview, I actually thought, wow, that's amazing that uh, I'm only starting my journey, but someone already asking me for an interview. But <laughs> then uh, actually I realized that uh, a lot of uh, a lot of people, a lot of newcomers to this uh, really, uh, really complicated and day changing, really fast paced industry. They are facing hard times when they are only starting. And as I am uh, more than six months into this journey, uh, I wanted to share some insights, some thoughts uh, and uh, ideas I have about how to make this journey more effective and uh, more uh, fast paced for you also, not for the industry. Yeah, excellent, excellent. I say uh, you, you've been at it six months, but you've got to already within six months you know, just to, to last and get started. That That's um, an exciting part of the journey. It's always interesting that you know, how you catalyze something and how you get started and start to move. So like you said, yeah, you, there, there's interesting aspects to agency life, whether you're at the start of the journey, the end of the journey or somewhere in between. So take us through sort of the last six months. Where, where did you get started? Um, where are you at now? So sort of how did you start your journey? Um, and why, 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 I guess, why did you get into digital marketing? Why did that interest you? So I'm a digital marketer, entrepreneur, and writer from Ukraine. I uh, actually have a passion and interest in economy. Uh, and uh, I have a Master of Economics degree and a passion for exploring complicated phenomena of the modern digital economy. Uh, I have many academic papers uh, published with my course of Professor of Economics. And you can see all of them on my uh, Google School app page. So uh, as a business owner at Mitchell Dollar Digital Marketing, uh, the agency I started uh, a little bit six months ago. I focus on helping local and e-commerce businesses to properly structure and run their Facebook and Instagram ads and successfully implement other digital marketing aspects such as uh, local SEO, Google My Business, etc. So one of the key reasons I decided to have an interview with you, Chris, is the fact that many newcomers, uh, as I said, to this industry uh, to this trend uh, have a surprisingly hard period uh, at the start. So uh, I am not a big name yet and not a business, uh, not a huge business owner uh, yet, but uh, uh, hundreds of hours invested into building, uh, outreaching, writing, doing all this stuff myself as a solopreneur. Uh, I believe I have a lot of uh, useful and interesting uh, information to give back to the community and to help uh, newcomers to this industry. Mm. So, yeah, it's a really yeah. interesting perspective. So, how 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 do you find blend that blend in the sort of the sort of, sort of the scientific scholastic um, background? How how do you blend that into what you're doing in your business? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, I had uh, five years in university and. Uh, all of these years, I try to explore uh, the economy, uh, on the basics of the economy. Uh, the first years, like I was taught, like the microeconomy, uh, the macroeconomy, uh, economics, uh, and uh, the global, uh, how the global finance works. But then I uh, started to uh, to be interested in more modern uh, modern uh, aspects as uh, of the economy, such as uh, digital technologies in economy. Uh, like uh, financial technologies, uh, blockchain technology, and uh, the 
the habit I uh, developed through these years and uh, with the help of uh, my teachers, uh, the habit of uh, exploring everything uh, from the scientific side. So uh, to build a structure, to build a system, and uh, not to be uh, like, uh, uh, not to wander uh, without any idea of what's happened now, but uh, of building a, <clears throat> uh, a, straight, uh, a straight system. So uh, I actually implement a lot of knowledge I, uh, I gained through the years, through the study years in middle dollar digital marketing. Uh, I actually, I think that it will be really hard for any person uh, without uh, actual uh, academic, uh, academic knowledge in, uh, uh, in uh, economy, how the competition works, how markets work, it will be really hard to start any business. And uh, I see that it helps me a lot. So um, what I wanted to share uh, is uh, like today, uh, many uh, local businesses uh, are struggling uh, to gain their usual traction and uh, they often uh, go uh, to digital marketing. And that's the trend I uh, I uh, spotted uh, like a year ago and uh, the trend I wanted to get some uh, to, to get some use uh, for me too. So I started this journey uh, with uh, the aim to help local and e-commerce businesses with uh, their uh, digital marketing because uh, there are a lot of expect, expect, aspects of uh, digital marketing uh, like a regular business owner, uh, can't uh, leverage to the to the full potential uh, mm, and mm, uh, i want to share some ideas about uh, like uh, some concrete concrete things like uh, how to find prospects and uh, how to uh, actually do a pre-qualification of prospects is it uh, important or not so mm. uh, yeah, that's really, really interesting perspective that you've taken that sort of macroeconomic um, perspective and and found that trend. In in terms of that trend, obviously we've we've all really seen that that trend is particularly for local businesses that weren't digital kind of pre COVID that are now just having to be digital yeah. and having to have online presence. How how do you view that from that? You, you sort of seen that trend over the last year, and now you're sort of riding that trend. How, how do you see that in terms of what what is the insight for that trend? What does this actually mean for businesses? How and is it critical? Like, is it absolutely critical that businesses become digital now? Is it a it, it sort of shifted from a it's something that's nice to have to you absolutely need to be online now? Is it that is it that critical of a trend? Yeah. So uh, I view uh, this process as, uh, as, a, as an objective process. So we can't, uh, I think uh, the regular person can't uh, uh, do something against this process. And the pandemics, I think it only accelerated and uh, made, uh, made it possible, for example, in one year uh, that otherwise would be possible in three to five years. So it accelerated this pace and the problem is like you uh, right said the pro the problem uh, of local businesses is uh, they are not so used to such fast fast pace uh, changes in uh, the way they are doing their business and uh, it is a real problem for them uh, the yeah. digital marketing uh, requires a lot of uh, a lot of knowledge and a lot of maybe passion uh, let's say uh, like that uh, to implement it to the fullest uh, potential, like everyone can, uh, like uh, build a website or a store or run Facebook ads. It's not uh, restricted. So the, uh, the modern uh, world uh, opens uh, such <clears throat> opportunities to everyone with an internet connection, but it mm. takes a lot of uh, tears uh, and sweat to 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 go. Uh, to, to make this going uh, uh, at uh, the fullest potential for some business. For example, uh, I worked with, uh, uh, and, and now I continue working with uh, car stories uh, in my uh, city. And it's a, 
it's a classic traditional business like the owner uh, used only the uh, only one instrument in the development of the business and it's word of mouth so it's uh, <clears throat> a really high end uh, high end service so it uh, was uh, really popular uh, within the area when uh, where this car service is located but uh, it didn't gain gain some traction uh, to to scale this business and to actually make it uh, a success uh, even a local success but uh, but now it's uh, a really a really big su success for an owner so mm -hmm. uh, I contacted with him and implemented a lot of things uh, for example google my business and website and local right. seo and it helped to gain uh, this business at least 30 to 40 uh, new customers per month so it's, it's mm -hmm. quite uh, an amazing uh, figure for this uh, particular right. business yeah so scaling within a sort of a local geography yeah. or has he been able to scale out to, to new locations um I think that uh, we should speak uh, the local when we are speaking about my city. It's yeah. it's not the biggest in the country. It's one of the biggest, but not the biggest. And uh, everything, uh, maybe 99% of our clients are within 10 miles of the country. So it's, a, it's right. quite a local business. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that that's a significant for a business like that to have 30, 40 extra customers coming through. That's pretty yeah. significant, yeah. Partic particularly in these times. So what are we, we talked about some of the tools and tactics that you use, Google My Business, that kind of thing. How are you, um, for a business like that, that has a, you know, we call it sort of bricks and mortar, right? They've got a physical location, um, obviously visiting a physical location. There's a lot of restrictions on that at the moment, or there has been over the last year. How, how are you, what sort of tools are you using to help a business like that get more visible, um, are you looking at different business models or is it just how do you get more more of the same types of business of same types of customer um, to visit that business on their online versus their their physical store yeah so uh, I think that one of the uh, one of the most complicated aspects uh, for a digital marketer is before actually starting a journey of helping some business uh, it's really important to uh, to figure out a right diagnosis of this business so what the problem is and for this business the problem was uh, they are not getting enough of local views and uh, we tried uh, google uh, ads we tried a little bit facebook ads we tried uh, local SEO. It worked, but uh, it's it's not uh, it's not so many clients uh, if we compare it with Google My Business. And uh, then eventually, uh, like uh, more than one year ago, uh, we figured uh, out that the content, the content, uh, the organic content, uh, photographs, like. Uh, reviews etc so we we started incentivizing our clients to leave a review uh, the content on google my business actually works really uh, really effective for this uh, part uh, for this uh, type of business so speaking about local businesses i think it's it's really useful to figure out the right diagnosis and for this business it was uh it was to share some uh organic content with local audience with the use of uh google my business and uh, good reviews left by clients because this uh, car service really uh really knows how to uh change spare parts and how to make your car uh, go on like it it's, it's it's new it's brand new so uh good reviews uh left by uh satisfied uh by heavy clients uh, really helps uh, mm, so yes. and what I wanted to share with uh, our viewers today uh, as uh, some useful uh, some useful piece of advice so uh, how it's really hard uh, nowadays it's really hard to find a client and uh, the majority of the businesses uh, realize that uh, they uh, want to have a digital marketer in staff uh, more than a year ago and uh, most, uh, more of the time when you outreach straight away to like e-commerce business or even some local businesses they already have staff in charge of this aspect and it's becoming increasingly uh, hard to get a new client so uh, if you open some youtube of a guru 
uh, you'll probably hear quite the opposite, but I want to share my uh, real world experience uh, to give some up to date value to the viewers. So what I would recommend as an outreach met method, uh, if you are not in uh, the target countries, for example, uh, you live say in Germany or like me in Ukraine, uh, but you want to help companies from the US or, or from the Australia, so it's definitely uh, called emailing. It works for me. Uh, so uh, obviously, one would say, but uh, it doesn't. It, it's so obvious. Uh, and the question, but the question is, uh, isn't important to pre-qualify businesses to outreach? Uh, so to filter ones with the most high-end image branding and the ones you shouldn't even try outreach. So um, I think uh, that. Uh, uh, it's really important to pre-qualify, but uh, before that, you should to, uh, you should build uh, the system of uh, outreaching at scale. Uh, I uh, I used to uh, spend hours and hours per day uh, to get emails from three from five businesses, and uh, as even a newcomer can. Uh, can see and understand it's it's not going anywhere if you if you are uh, outreaching to five people uh, per day it's not going anywhere in this uh, in this uh, economy and in this uh, business right now so yeah. uh, getting uh, a reply rate uh, it, it's really imp uh, important and hard to uh, but um, what I've done to overcome this problem is uh, various uh, automation tools and a mindset that is uh, quite opposite to the uh, common advice uh, everyone can hear uh, on YouTube, on some blogs, etc. So uh, I use uh, automation tools to get emails from, say, uh, 30 to 50 e-commerce businesses uh, per day uh, with uh, some filtration. For example, uh, I use uh, a site named myip.ms uh, to get uh, actual URLs to see if they uh, pre-qualify, like uh, do they have a functional website, uh, do they have a product uh, not restricted by Facebook, and it's okay. Uh, you shouldn't uh, try to qualify it to uh, like uh, five or six or ten criteria. It's it's waste of time, I think it was for me. Uh, and uh, if someone can uh, recommend Google to find uh, businesses, uh, to outreach, I would say that it would be uh, a nightmare too, because uh, it's it's really hard to uh, to uh, to find uh, the right fit uh, for your business. Because, for example, my uh, agency is really small, and uh, it uh, obviously it shouldn't uh, outreach to some big fashion brands, watch brands, uh, fashion malls, etc and shouldn't outreach to businesses without any traction, without any revenue to uh, really small businesses. It's, it's a waste of time too. So uh, I use this tool and uh, get emails of these businesses and then send, and send my uh, email sequence to them. Uh, and uh, what I use uh, on, my, uh, on this website, uh, myip.ms, uh, I use a filter, uh, I use uh, like uh, 300 till 3000 uh, views per day and uh, I set the filter to uh, Shopify uh, in or shopify.com I can't recall right now uh, to filter the most uh, the most uh, the hottest uh, stores to, to filter the e-commerce stores because if you will uh, run uh, without a, this filter there will be a lot of local businesses etc but shopify is uh, like most of the time used by e-commerce businesses mm -hmm. and uh, what i consider important also for newcomers is not to allow some uh, like action vacuum, uh, what I call it. So when I started learning digital marketing in summer of 2020, uh, I was trying to get my hands on all of the best free and even bad uh, knowledge uh, that was available. So uh, because I was also studying in the university back then uh, as a master of economics, as I said already, uh, I had some time in, also to spend to learning the basics of digital marketing and then more sophisticated stuff. Uh, I was thinking that uh, back then uh, in this fast paced industry, there will be no problem finding a client and uh, why uh, and with my perfectionist mentality, 
uh, I uh, wanted to get all the knowledge on the internet. I wanted to uh, to get uh, my hands on all the courses, and only then uh, try to find a client to, to actually to provide the best service I can. And I think it's one of the big mistakes uh, newcomers uh, can make because uh, by December I actually finished learning and considered myself as a real specialist in Facebook and Instagram ads, in copywriting, in local SEO, as I said, because I had uh, an experience in it, uh, and uh, overall digital marketing. So <clears throat> I had a client already back then, but uh, uh, I managed to. Uh, I've, I've not managed to get uh, any meaningful uh, traction uh, in the uh, first couple of months. And uh, the last couple of months, like from February and March, uh, I use my outreach at scale, I call it. Uh, I do uh, only slightly pre-qualification of businesses and then use my uh, four emails sequence to actually build uh, build some trust and to show who I am, to show my uh, case studies, etc., and maybe to show some offer to businesses, and it started working. So I had uh, three calls, like uh, like last uh, like couple of weeks. So for me, it's uh, it's really it's really interesting result, and I hope to get mm. uh, a client uh, in uh, next couple of weeks. So uh, yeah. I am dealing with uh, some business owner, and uh, I think that uh, it's really important uh, not to be a perfectionist in this business and to actually implement what works here and now uh, in this fast-paced uh, industry and this uh, e-commerce world. Yeah, now. yeah, no, that's, that's great real-world insight, and you're absolutely right. A lot of entrepreneurs and business owners get stuck in that education phase, and yeah, you can yeah. just learn and learn and learn and learn and learn without actually implementing. And unless you're implementing, you're not getting that experiential, right, embodied learning of actually doing the thing. And when you do the thing, as you said, you learn faster when you actually implement. So yes, yeah, super, yeah. Super, super, super important not to get stuck in that education mode. Important to be educated and know what you're doing and get some mastery, but also really important to actually implement. And like you said, now you're taking action. If you're not banging on doors, if you're not talking to clients, you're not going to get any clients, right? So yeah, yeah, right. you actually need to go out and speak to people, um, bang on doors and yeah, reach out to people and then cold email. I've heard that works really well. And it's great to hear that you, you're able to get that kind of um, yeah, mass reach through that automation and start getting clients in. And hopefully they, they start coming coming through to clients soon, mate. That sounds really good. Um, if people yeah. do uh, want to get in touch with you, find out more about you, um, there's a couple of things up on screen. What's what's the best way to, for people to reach out, um, get in touch with you? I've been dead interested uh, person can visit my website uh, here uh, I have some case studies I have all, all my, bringing all my uh, uh, education uh, pieces of, ed of education like my articles here my case studies here and uh, one uh, person really really interested can actually book a call with me it's a free uh, strategy call I uh, said and uh, we will try to figure out to like I said to uh, make to uh, a right diagnosis of uh, of the business and figure out if uh, what I provide will be a good fit and uh, a really uh, a really effective instrument to, to grow and scale the business. Amazing. Really love the the track that you're on, uh, Dimitri. I like that you you've done the education, but you're getting super practical. You're really taking that real world. Um, approach yeah, yeah. to things, implementing, actually getting out, talking to clients. And I think there's been some some really good value, even though you're very, you know, you're just starting. These principles are good for anybody, anyone that might be a yeah. little bit stuck, they're not moving forward, taking action, implementing stuff is super, super important at any stage of business. So, yeah, thank, thanks for those insights, mate. They're very, very interesting. And, uh, yeah, great. Thank, thanks for stopping by and thanks for... Uh, taking time out of your day i know we've had some a few connection issues uh, going on um yeah. today so thankfully the internet stuck with us for a while but i um, yeah, i appreciate your time thanks for dropping by real really really good to chat to you and thanks yeah. for everybody for uh, tuning in and spending some time here with us yeah, thank you chris it was uh, really uh, an amazing time for me to to talk with you and to actually share some useful advice with uh, your viewers so 
it's a really a really uh, amazing experience for me thank you my pleasure mate and yet really really useful information really good stuff thank you for your time thanks everyone for tuning in we'll see you on the next one dimitri thanks for your time mate look forward to staying in touch and uh we'll catch you on the next episode